crappy ass road. Put the seatbelt on, dummy. What's up, people? I can't really do shout outs while I'm driving, so you're gonna have to bear with me. It's just a lunch live stream anyway. Looking for something to eat. We're gonna go for a drive. Hey, Blackie Sanchez. Tony Sweet, how are you? Soup Freaks Mess. Doogie Slots, or Dougie Slots, Kim Denon, EJ, Tony MTZ, John Scott, Carrie Knopf, Penny Marmar, Gino Labiak, Best Bam Life, Josh Tacey, Tom Kazana, Robert Jimenez. Only do shout outs when I'm at the light. Gary McCord, when I'm driving, I'm not going to be doing them. Carrie Apples, Teresa Bedford, Monica Cole, Sylvia Perez, Iron Fist Films, and the two become one flesh. Art and Shirley. I don't know. I was looking for a salad place or something. Miss Frog is here. And even though I like the salads at uh, Farmer Boys, I get tired of it. Weed Man the Great. F Palpy Frank, my friend. All right. Let me uh, XOXO Heavy. Elizabeth Walters. Beth Rubio. Navajo Indian, Rob Fay, Andrea Stack, my friend. All right, guys, I got I got to watch the road. I can't do shout outs right now, but hello, everybody. I gotta I gotta see where I'm going. I can't be staring at a phone screen. It's hanging on my window. Sorry, it's shaky. I don't have a gimbal to hold my phone while I uh, do these. I need to make a gimbal mount on the dashboard. That way it'll always be smooth. So you're going to see a little shakiness. Hey, John Arsenal. This is my lunch break. I got an hour lunch, and I don't ever do this, but I'm doing it today. Hey, Jody FJ. Hey, happy go lucky. Since I'm not uh, live streaming this afternoon, I'll be home editing videos. I thought I would go ahead and live stream lunchtime. Maybe I should start live streaming lunchtime on Skidmark. Try to grow some subscribers over there. Anyway, we are on, um, we're getting ready to cross over into Northwest Las Vegas. Once you cross over 15 right here, you're on the west side. I was on the northeast side, but once I cross over the 15, I become, it becomes the west side. Hey, John Martinez, Bobby Riley, the mighty bull. I really don't want to eat unhealthy food. I haven't had fast food in a very long time. So, I'm looking for something good to eat. If I don't find anything, then we'll just go for a drive and I'll eat later when I get home. Hey, Richard Modica. Mr. BB, how are you? Bubby, Mr. Bubby. The next week, I see you in downtown. Peter from Germany. Right on, Peter. Hey, Terry Bell, nice to see you. Caesar M is here. <clears throat> I know you guys can see the little mount that's holding the phone. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I don't have anything special to hold the phone there. Uh, weather is 68 degrees, according to what the car says. It's not as windy as it was yesterday. Other than Teresa Bedford... Who in chat can tell me what road I'm on? There's probably going to be somebody who lives here that answers that. 
Uh, Mario Juarez, I do not know yet. Hey, Tony Hubert, Jody FJ. My way to heaven. AJ83, how you doing, AJ? Marsha, 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 Marsha Fuller's here. This is a fantastic interruption to my work day. Well, thank you. It's a fantastic interruption to my work day as well. It's a cracker barrel on the left. Tawada 106 is here. My girlfriend took the rest of the super burrito this morning, so now I have to search for food. That's funny. What super burrito did you have, Tawada? Let me track your GPS. Too funny. Can't wait to get out to the lake. Yeah, um, I might do that this weekend. I might drag Joe out there. Uh, no, no farmer boys today, EJ. I already passed farmer boys. Hey, Kelly Squirrel K. Nobody knows what road I'm on, huh? Other than Teresa Bedford. Elizabeth Walters, how are you doing? For June and July. Yeah, it'll be hot. Carnitas Super Burrito. From where? Yeah, I know you know where I am. You should know where I am now. Hey, you doing, Razor? Teresa. Bondi gets oh my god, that sounds so good right now. There's a there's no Mexican restaurant by me that has a Bondi guess. Nope, I am not on Spring Mountain Kia Bell, but good guess. Great to see you today. I'm gonna spend my whole lunch looking for something to eat. Watch, we're just gonna end up being a driving around video hanging out with you guys. This right here is Cannery East, I believe. I don't know how many of you have ever been here. That's the Cannery Casino. The other one is closed. Hey, Rosalie White. Quentin Hairston is here. Steph C. Jolie, how are you? Good afternoon. I got this little mini suction cup thing that I just slap on my window. I lost it for a long time when I found it the other day. I am not on Boulder Highway. <laughs> but Boulder Highway is where the other one is. I wouldn't expect a lot of tourists, which is most of you that come to Vegas and some of you that just like to look at Vegas, would know where I am. There's no reason for you to be over here unless you're here for a convention or something and you're staying in the cannery here because it's the only room you can get. I'm not on Eastern. I'm not on Russell. I'm not on 15 East. 15 runs north and south. Andrea Stack, how did you get that? Craig and Losey, Dale Barber. Do you live here, Dale? Well, you can see the Losey in the sign if you zoom in. Great to see you. Okay, well, that's where I am. I'm on Craig and Losey. Actually, I think I know where I can go to turn around and go back. Look at you turn over here. Ah, eh, screw it. I'm not going to go there. We're going to drive up. We're just going to go for a drive and see. If I find something, I find something. If not, I'll eat later when I get home. Roll that window up. It's probably loud. There's Habit Burger. There's Blaze Pizza has a keto pizza, but... I have to go in there and make it. I did a video in there it's on my channel a long time ago. Hey, Liz Costa, you rock. Is CE in here somewhere? I'm not on the strip. I'm on Craig Road. There's another Dutch Bros. Look, there we go. That's what I needed to find right there. Salad and go. I did a video here and it went crazy. It was it was nuts. How many views I got on a salad and go video?
Yeah, I don't eat fast food anymore, so Taco Bell, and Taco Bell never sounds good to me. Blah. Taco Bell was really good in the 80s, and they changed their meat, and they changed their beans. Now all of it is slop. The, the meat is slop. The beans are slop. It's just... But don't get me wrong. Every now and then, a Taco Bell taco does sound good to me. Look at look at all these people are stopping, and nobody's gonna let me cross. These wonderful people, nobody's gonna let me turn left. I should have went down and used the light. Oh, okay, it's opening up now. All right, we're gonna die in a fiery crash right now. Here, we'll just stop right here. <laughs> I do that throw. Oh, look at this. There's a place called Born and Raised. I know somebody was here. I think we've been wanting to come here and check this place out. Huh, I'll have to do that. All right, let me get in the drive through here and let's order salad. I'm not real big on how this place works, so. Uh, my name is Lisa. Can I get your name to start with, please, honey? My name is Mark. Hi, Mark. How are you, babe? Not too bad. I'm trying to... This is only my second time here, so I'm still learning. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Nope. I'm just looking at the menu right now. I'll figure it out one second, I guess. Okay. No problem. Let's, uh... What have you had so far? Oh, uh, the last time I came, I just had a protein box. I'm thinking now I want to do a salad. Okay. Or a salad or a steak fajita wrap. Ooh. Do you like jalapeno? Love jalapenos. Okay, the jalapeno wrap is amazing. What's in that one? Steak? It's, you can do steak in it. And it has uh, uh, pickled onions. It has corn and tomatoes. And avocados. Yeah. Let's do that. You want to do that? Yeah. You want to do steak? Yeah, let's do steak. Did you want to do double steak for additional $1.29? Yeah, do double steak. Okay. Did you want an extra dressing on the side, just okay? Sure. Okay. I like my I like my sweet. I don't like dry. What stuff. kind of dressing is in it? It's a jalapeno ranch. It's amazing. Oh, jalapeno ranch. Okay, I'm good with that. Yeah, but my favorite dressing personally would be the jalapeno ranch, the Thai, and then the balsamic. All right. So let's do that, and then uh, for a drink, what do we have that's not sugary? Black tea. Uh, do you have sweeteners to go in it? I do. Or you can do a simple syrup. You can just give you or swing a little. Uh, Stevie is fine. You want to do Stevie? We do do it on the side. Okay. And, um, how many Stevie's do we give you? Uh, just like a, three? Yeah, three's fine. I don't think it'll be that. I don't think it'll be that, uh, Stevie is pretty sweet. It is. And then, I mean, if you don't, you know, whatever you want, you can save for later. Yep. Alrighty, so we got black tea with three Stevie's on the side. We got the helping a wrap with, um, I'm sorry, yeah, the helping a wrap with double steak, extra dressing on the the side. Let me um, modify that so they know put that on the side. Give me one second. There we go. I don't know why I didn't do that, but hopefully they get that. Okay, so last question for you. Would you like to donate a dollar during childhood hunger? Sure. Would you like to make it an even number of dollars? Donate one dollar, a dollar, and one cent. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna donate 101. It's gonna bring you up to 13 dollars even. Got it. And then if you do me a favor, when you get your receipt, do a survey and let us know how amazing we are. So our name's on there. I'm Lisa. All right, Lisa. Thanks, Mark. We'll see you later. Have a good one. Yep, you too. Thank you. Thanks. That's the that's the biggest conversation I've ever had with the drive-through window in my entire life. I don't know if you guys saw the video I did. I did a little short. It's on my Instagram. It's on my Facebook. It's on my TikTok. But I went to Salad and Go and I got a protein box. It was like $4. It was really good. It was chicken and had cucumbers in it and began me ranch dressing. And it's funny, all the dietitians that, uh, all the, the self-proclaimed dietitians in, in the comments, you just ruined it. I've been putting all that ranch all over it. Blah, 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 blah. It just, it cracks me up. And I know that 90% of what I'm about to eat is healthy and the wrap part is not because it's a tortilla, but it's better than fast food. So this is what I'm doing.
This place is called Salad and Go. Here, hold on. That's where we are. We're at Salad and Go. And my phone's getting hot on this window, so I'm gonna have to uh I'm gonna have to run the air conditioner up through the window. So it'll cool it off. Once I figure out how to do that. There we go. No, this came with a jalapeno ranch dressing. Hi Kelly Joe. Jesus Rodriguez vinaigrette. Yep, they have vinaigrette, but I got the I opted for the jalapeno ranch. Uh, it was thirteen dollars for the wrap and the iced tea, but I got a. Mm, but I got a. Um, I donated and a bunch of other stuff. I donated some money. Hey, Rob Price with five dollars super chat. Asparagus is the only cure. I hate asparagus, but Rob Price, you totally rock. Thank you so much. Give me a couple more because I didn't realize that there were those ones. Yeah. Gotcha, more to be safe. <laughs> You're awesome, Where's my friend. friend. You, Have a great day. Thank you. spot to eat real quick. Maybe over here. All right, let's see what we got. Wow, 222 people watching me at lunch. I'm texting my girlfriend to pick up something. None near my work to run one of these days. Man. All right, so this is the wrap that I got. It is a double steak wrap with jalapeno ranch dressing. It looks like a burrito. Holy shit, that's really good. Mm hmm. The worst part about this is the tortilla. Um, Creole the Traveler, I went to stop. I went to salad and go. Mega wrap. <laughs> hey, Jay Barella. Mm. Keep in mind, it's a salad wrap. So everything in here is cold. The steak, the salad, everything in here is really, really ice cold. It's, it's really freaking good, guys. It really is. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's got avocados, lots of steak. 
It's got the pickled red onions. It's got corn. Um, for this and the drink, I paid thirteen dollars. But like I said, I donated a dollar something. I got extra sauce, which I probably don't need. Um, Jim's Carnivore Kitchen. I saw that. You're, you're those videos are awful that you're watching. Hey, T Shep. Look at all that steak in there. It's really good. Mm. It doesn't need the other dressing. Mm. Very tasty, very tasty. It's not really a burrito, Ned's Tan. It's a, it's a salad wrap. It just looks like a burrito. Mm. Hey, Carlos, as I, Robert Albrecht. It's a little spicy. Brad B's been a member for 17 months. You rock, Brad B. Thank you. This is where I'm sitting. So you don't have to stare at me eat. Hey, Philip Brown. It's a huge wrap, John. I didn't think it was going to come that big. It, it looks so different in the picture. Hi, Gladys. I was just laughing at you, Gladys. I was watching the re replay of my home stream. And Gladys, went, this is how you have to remind Mark with all capital letters. That shit was funny. Treatin' 99, my amazing friend is here. Mm. Hey, Donna Ripley. Yeah. Did you notice the drive through lady? She like walked me. She was like a car salesman, but she was really nice. She like walked me through it. Oh, if you get this and this, and you really like this, and this tastes really good, why don't you get an extra sauce and blah, 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 blah. She, was, she sounded really good. That's the inside of my wrap. It's steak, corn, lettuce, dressing, pickled red onions, avocado. It is yummy. Hey, Pat Drummond. Tracy Ellison is here. I still didn't see if CE came in. Mm. Meat. Oh my God, it's so good. I hope this place does well because... You can come in and get the protein box and you can put whatever meat you want in it. We're going to try their black tea. They didn't give me a straw, fuckers. How am I supposed to stir it without a straw? This is how their dressing comes. So it's pre-packed, pre-made. How am I supposed to drink my tea without a straw? It's actually good without the, any sweetener in it at all. Moist, Brad B. It's moist. It's totally moist. I don't want you guys to see me take every single bite. That's gross. Waukesha Pilot is here. Mm. 
Yes, have all the beers you want. A little vodka and lemonade. We love the word moist. They have weird eggs. Hey, Alexi. Mm. It looks like these are tomatoes in here. They are. You know those little, uh, what are those little round tomatoes called? This thing is full of them. This might be kind of gross, but I'm going to show you. I felt this pop when I've been into it. It's got the little tomatoes and like whole ones. And they're really ripe and sweet. There's nothing wrong with a good tomato. Love tomatoes. Yeah, cherry tomatoes. <laughs> you, you like tomatoes, Andrea, or not? I can't... That, yeek! <laughs> mm. You're awesome, Treat, and love you. Max, 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 how are you? Mm. You can tell them no tomatoes. Hello, Leslie Scott. Not much, just having lunch real quick. <laughs> you love tomatoes, but then like, John, John, how are you, my awesome friend? I've done multiple videos at Omelette House. Um, they're not about the Omelette House. I just happen to be eating there in the video. Tori Tidwell, how are you? Mm. Michelle Monroe. Look, I went to Salad and Go and got a big old steak wrap, Michelle. Mm. Look at all the corn that's in there. Mm. Michelle Monroe is one of my most amazing friends, so, uh, Make sure you guys jump on her channel. She does a lot of really, really good Vegas content and some, uh, and some, uh, some brothel content as well. So definitely, definitely check out her channel. She's also one of the spokesperson or reps for, uh, Spearmint Rhino and the Peppermint Hippo, I think. So jump on her channel. She's awesome. Bart Cool Beans, we went to that little salad and go restaurant for lunch. I'm trying to eat healthy. Michelle, you got to try to figure out Sundays. Well, when we do stuff in Vegas, I know you don't like to go on long road trips. Like, I don't think you would have liked doing the alien video because that was eight hours stuck in a car. But um, Joe and I are trying to film on Sundays because that's the only day off we have together. So you need to try to figure out if you can come with us on some Sundays. 
if we're not doing really long road trips. I know we're going to do a road trip. Um, we might be doing one this Sunday coming up, but it's only an hour drive. I don't know for sure. We did the we did the museum this past Sunday, but we didn't even think of that until Sunday. Or real late Saturday night. But it wasn't a... We didn't plan on going there. We just kind of did it because we didn't have anything else to do. <clears throat> Big Mama Texas Cheesehead is here. I was blown away by where we went on Sunday. I really was. So was Joe. It's been there for 55 years. I'm a Las Vegas native, and I don't remember that being there for 55 years where it sits. I just I don't remember it. And I know we had to have gone there on field trips as, as a kid when we were in school. I don't remember it. Tony Hubert, I want to do van life. Uh, Rosie and I have been looking into renting a van for a couple weeks and hitting the road. Um, I see van lifers come through here a lot, and I see a lot of van life vans. But see, now motorhome companies are actually making them so you can just buy them. So I, I don't know if I'm looking at van lifers or, or people that are just buying them and using them on the weekends. I've already been to the chicken ranch. Round trip to the chicken ranch, hour there, hour back. Uh, chickpeas are okay, I guess. I did the Area 51 Alien Brothel. Michelle did it too, but I did mine like, fuck, four years ago, almost five years ago. My channel was super small back then when I did that one. Done eating. Bon appetit. Thank you, Shadow Twenty Two. Hey, Scott Jarvis. Hey, Stacy Lyons. That was ninety percent healthy lunch. Slab City? No, I've not been to Slab City, even though you spoke that slap. Um, that's another one I plan on going to. Rosie doesn't want to go to that, so I'll either go by myself or take Joe with me. That can be a dangerous place. But if I go by myself, I'll never hear the end of it. I don't want you to go out there. They don't have zucchini sticks. I didn't go to... Um, um, I didn't go to Farmer Boys today, treat, and I went to Salad and Go. It was good. Basically, it was a salad wrapped in a steak salad wrapped in a tortilla. Nope. What does nope mean, just me? 
Oh, um, hi, by the way. <clears throat> I don't have the other phone, so if you're trying to message me, I can't look at it. <clears throat> what about going to that little Death Valley town like last year? Uh, I don't know which Death Valley town you're talking about. You're talking about chloride? Um, we're going to probably do chloride again. Uh, <laughs> laying down the law. <laughs> um, we're going back to Oatman, I believe, when the stacks get here. Joe's going with us on that one. Um... If we do a road trip this weekend, it will probably be, probably be out to, um, where we may be going this weekend, just me, Nipton. We might go out to Nipton where all that art was that I filmed, the UFO and the, and the big thing made out of shopping carts. It's all Burning Man art that got left out there. And then, um, there's some other places we can go. A Wonder Hussy meetup. Wonder Hussy doesn't know who I am, guys. <laughs> Wonder Hussy has no interest in any Vegas channel other than her own, and I don't blame her. <laughs> she's hustling. She's trying to make a living, but she's out doing her thing. Wonder Hussy lives the life with that channel as the life I would like to live with the Skidmark channel. Like, at some point, we're going to go explore abandoned mines with the Skidmark channel. At least I am. I don't think Rosie will go back underground that far. You give me like one fucking napkin, really? Hey, Tracy Ellison. I've had that droppy day today. I've dropped my... I spilled water all down the front of me. At least it was only water at work, so I was soaked for like two hours. I've dropped everything I've picked up. Afraid to go to the bathroom. Well, we have the off-road vehicles for mines. Oh, yeah. You gonna go back into a mine with me, Tracy? Or, uh, Teresa? Hey, Lucy Serna. There's supposed to be a place near Vegas that has a lot of broken down pieces of buildings that are all covered with graffiti and people there that had a lot of graffiti. Yeah, it's called, um, it's just not really buildings, but it's called, uh, um, The Wheel of Misfortune. And, um, I've made like three videos there. <laughs> <laughs> as far as broke down buildings that are all graffitied, I don't know of any place like that near Vegas. Vegas is really strange about um, things like that. They get torn down pretty quick. So, like, we don't have... Some states have abandoned hospitals, abandoned warehouses, abandoned factories where a lot of these urbexers can explore. We don't have that here. Something goes out of business here. It's boarded up for a while, sold, renovated, rented into something else. And that's it. Other than that, the shit gets torn down and they build something else there. Where are... Bourbon Colony. It's my other channel called Skidmark. Will somebody put the link up? So Bourbon Colony... Colony can go check it out. I have a Route 66 video and an Area 51 video on it, Bourbon Colony. It's my second channel. It's my Explore channel. It's brand new. Drop itis. Yeah, I ha I hate those days. Once it starts, it's all day. You drop your pen. Drop. I drop. Knock shit off my desk. It's just I just want to go home and like restart. I keep losing these that I had in my head. Yeah, try to find your hat that you're already wearing. Where's my hat? It's on your head.
Hold on. <clears throat> Babe, this is that place born and raised we saw. We got to come check this out. Right down the street from here, they sell crack at the restaurant. It, it looks like bread. <laughs> Literally so addictive. Oh, there it is right there, Texas Roadhouse. You can't really see it, it's on the left. Hey, 13 Dan, thanks for coming in. Danny D is here. I still never saw a CE come in. <clears throat> Brad McDaniel, how you doing? Digging Goon Schmidt, how are you? Oh my god, it is. It's only Tuesday. Ugh. I made a video a long time ago at Capriati Sandwich Shop. You can't see it, but it's right to my left over here. I made that video. Back when I first started my YouTube channel, I didn't know what to make. I, I, just, I, I just, all I knew was that I wanted to film and I wanted to edit and I needed to practice um, because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I, I, at this point, I still don't even know what the hell I'm doing half the time. But anyway, um, I've learned a lot. So at lunchtime, I used to just go make videos. I would leave my office and I would go. I went to uh, Capriati's. I went to Fat Burger. I did all these videos on lunch break just so that I could film so I had something to practice. You know, it was like my practice in editing and, and filmmaking and storytelling and and then over time, I just evolved into what I, how I make videos now. It just kind of came together. So if you go back and watch all the old videos the first year of my channel, that's what you're seeing. You're seeing, like I did a, we went to this, to this really bad low-income housing neighborhood. We had to remodel it, and I walked through there. And that video is atrocious. I mean, there's like, there's like mistakes from the editing program itself. 
that are like visible in it. It says something like media on something. It was just, uh, they were just bad, but that's, I leave it all there because it shows you that if I can do it, anybody can do it. You just got to practice. Be consistent. Yeah, 13, Dan, you actually are kind of late. My lunch is over in just a few minutes, but I thought I'd cruise around with you guys for a second. I head back to my shop. This this corner right here, which is Lamb and Craig Road, is one of the most dangerous corners in Vegas. There are fatality accidents here all throughout the year. Right here on this corner by the Arco. There used to be a, bu a brand new bus stop to the right. I just passed it. The last accident they had about a year ago ripped the whole bus stop out. in some of the first neighborhoods in Vegas. Some of the first big housing tracks they had here. If you move to Vegas, I would definitely not recommend these neighborhoods. I get it. People just doing what they can to survive, but Oh, he's flying a drone. <laughs> he had a drone in the street. Yeah, but um, there's a lot that... A lot of these houses have bars and stuff on the windows and doors. and People just do what they got to do to survive. I get it. <clears throat> Straight out of Vegas in the house. What's up, Joe, my brother? Yep, we're in Northtown. But then they build these brand new homes right over here. See these? Big, giant, two-story houses? All brand new right there. It's, it's weird sometimes. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. See, I just drove you through that, which is a really super old neighborhood in Vegas. And then right across the street from that, two years ago, they built these brand new, these brand new houses. It's like two different worlds. This is what you get in Vegas. It's the concrete jungle and the stucco paradise. I freaking hate stucco. It's the cheap way to build. And all the houses look the same when they're stuccoed. Oh, it's changed a lot. It's changed a lot. But look, see, they all look the same. They're cookie cutter. It's hard to discern one house from the other. I guess they have an association because they're all well-kept. Oh, this is a cul-de-sac. Um, they're all pretty much well-kept, so they got to have an association in there, which I freaking hate associations. It's like Nazism with those people. Some associations won't let you fly an American flag in front of your house. So the builders, to get around that, started back in the late 90s, they started building all these... Oh, that was bound to happen at some point. Oh, whoop, there it goes again. See if we can keep it on the window. There. Back in the 90s, 
the builders started building these houses with uh, flagpoles on them. Those uh, those little 90 degree attachments that you bolt to your house that'll hold a flag. That way the associations couldn't tell people they couldn't fly American flags. What kind of association tells you you can't fly an American flag in front of your house? Isn't that, to me that's just a load of shit. I don't think anybody should tell you you can or can't. I know the phone's crooked on the window. There ain't a lot I can do about it. All I got is this suction cup with a clamp. That's what's holding my phone there. <clears throat> so then we leave the, the brand new neighborhood. We head back into the hood. Broke down cars. But some of these houses are well kept. This corner house right here with the yellow fence is well kept. It also says guard dog on duty. And there's a picture of a Doberman Pinscher. I guess that could be a scary dog. Christmas lights still up on this house on the left. <laughs> Jeez. This is craziness. They weren't just up. The Christmas light weren't just up. The sun had baked them there. Now the white cord that, that, that makes the Christmas light strand is like yellow and brown from the sun burning it and it's all just hanging off the roof it wasn't even they weren't even put up with any kind of semblance they were just hanging there laying about to fall on the ground <clears throat> where's chris angel's home i think he lives out by his restaurant or, or stays in one of the hotels i did a video at his restaurant too Joe, did you go with me on that one? Yeah, Joe went with me on that one, didn't he? No, wait, no, you didn't. I don't remember. I don't remember who went with me on that one. I know uh, Rosie and Alex went, but I don't remember if we took anybody else with us. <clears throat> Just me. Did we take somebody else with us when we went to Chris Angel's restaurant? I don't think we did. I don't remember, though. Where's my chat? No, Joe didn't go. It was just you, me, and Alex, okay. You applied for the North Las Vegas Police Department? The North Town Nasty Boys? That's what they called them, the North Town Nasty Boys. Now I'm lost in this freaking neighborhood. I don't know how to get out of it. think <laughs> somebody let me out of here look oh, you can't see it. he has a drone sitting on the ground I'm trying to figure it out I definitely wouldn't walk down the street at one o'clock in the morning by myself I know that guys thank you for uh hanging out on my lunch break with me if you guys want me to do more lunch break live streams let me know i can do this every day wouldn't bother me at all it's just fun to hang out and chat for a minute while i'm on my lunch break but i gotta head back to my office now and um go back to work look for a brand new video it'll probably be later this evening i don't know which one i'm gonna do yet i'll do one of them either the one we did yesterday or the steakhouse that i went to with vegas poor girl you guys totally rock. I will see you all on the next video. Peace out.